Reflection of Light by Huygens Principle. So in the previous class we have seen uh, Huygens Principle. According to Huygens Principle, each point on a wavefront act as source of secondary wavelets. So with the help of Huygens Principle, we can get the position and the shape of a wavefront at a particular instant of time. Since the wavefronts are propagating, if you want to find the position of the new wavefront after a particular time, uh, we can get the help of Huygens Principle. Now here we have a, uh, a shining surface that is a mirror, a silvered surface. So we can see this is a mirror whose uh, this side is uh, silver. This is the reflecting side. Now we have a beam of light. We can see two light rays. These are the light rays. This is a beam of light. These two light rays fall on this mirror. So these two light rays are incident light rays. These light rays meet at points A and C. They are falling on the points A and C. I can say A and C are the points called the points of incidence. So these are the incident light rays. Now we can draw wavefronts. So always wavefronts are perpendicular to the rays. These rays indicate direction of propagation of the wavefront. If this is a wavefront, this wavefront is propagating like this. So this direction of propagation is shown by uh, these two rays. So uh, these two rays are perpendicular to the incident wavefront. So here we can see AB is the incident wavefront. So this wavefront is traveling like this. It is proceeding forward. It is going to strike the mirror surface. So AB is the incident wavefront. Okay. AB is incident wavefront. So this wavefront AB uh, is perpendicular to these two light rays, incident light rays. We can mark this angle. This angle will be angle of incidence. So the incident light rays, uh, incident wavefront makes an angle I with the mirror surface. And already we know that what is angle of incidence? Angle between incident light ray and normal. This is angle of incidence. We can show that these two angles will be the same. Or the incident wavefront makes an angle I with the mirror surface. Okay. Now uh, we have the incident wavefront AB. According to Huygens principle, each point on the incident wavefront, if you, if you find many points on the incident wavefront, each points will uh, act as source of secondary wavelets. These wavelets travel in the forward direction. From B, the wavelets travel a distance equal to BC. BC is the distance traveled by the wavelets. At the same time, the wavelets at the point A already has uh, uh, struck the mirror surface. So they will start to reflect. But these wavelets from the point B, the wavelets needs to travel a distance is equal to BC. Okay, let T be the time taken to travel a distance BC. Again, say uh, distance to be traveled by the wavelets from B to C is equal to uh, BC is a distance. And what is the time taken? Let us assume time taken be T. Okay, and now we know that let uh, V be the speed of light. If V is the speed of light, what we can write? Velocity is equal to distance by time, V is equal to BC by T. So at a speed of V, the wavelets from B is proceeding forward to strike at the point C. But a wavelet at the point A has already uh, striked with the surface. Okay. Now, T is the time taken for the wavelets to travel a distance equal to BC. So once again, uh, these two are incident light rays and AB is the incident plane wavefront. Now we need to get the position of the reflected wavefront. So these light rays are undergoing reflection. These light rays are undergoing reflection. This light ray undergoing reflection at a point C here at a point A. Now we need to get the reflected wavefront. So to get a reflected wavefront, what we have to do is we have to choose this length BC. With this length BC, if suppose if this is the length BC, at point A we have to draw a sphere. Okay, so a part of sphere I have drawn. You can see an arc like this. This is a part of sphere. From here, draw a tangent, tangent to the sphere. So tangent is touching the point here, and we can see tangent is a dz. The dz will be the reflected wavefront, or cd. Cd will be the reflected wavefront. So what we have done? We have taken the length bz from the point A. We have drawn a uh, drawn a sphere. So the envelope of the sphere means the tangent we have to join from c to d. Okay, that cd will be the reflected wavefront. So I have written here, AB is the incident wavefront and CD is the reflected wavefront. These two are the reflected light rays. These reflected light rays may are perpendicular to the uh, reflected wavefront. Okay. So the time taken uh, by the wavelets to travel from B to C. Within that time, 
after reflection wavelets will travel from a to b so time taken by the wavelets to travel distance b to c should be equal to a time taken by the wavelets to travel from a to d okay so again we'll uh, take a one more uh, step like this distance again distance we can say from a to d distance is uh, it is a distance traveled by the wavelets from a to the point d what is the time taken the same time should be taken then what's the velocity same velocity because same medium same velocity we can say v is equal to again a d by t this is equation number one this is equation number two this is distance out from b to c this is distance out from a to d okay so we can equate these two when you equate one and two we what we will get b c by t is equal to a d by t or we can say uh, b c is equal to a d so we can uh, easily understand that b c and a d will be same in length okay so we have got incident wave front and this is a reflected wave front with the help of huygens principle now we need to prove the law of reflection of light so the main law of reflection of light is angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection that we need to prove so this incident wave front ab it is making an angle i i is an angle made uh, by the incident wave front with the mirror surface okay now this angle will be angle of reflection because we know that the normal makes an angle r this is the normal makes an angle r with the reflected this is a reflected light right if this angle is r this angle also will be r so the reflected wave front the cd makes an angle r with a mirror surface so here we have got two right angle triangles because this angle is 90 degree here we have an angle of 90 degree here also we have a 90 degree angle so which are the triangles we have we have two right angle triangles which are there one triangle is a d c and other one is we can say it is a b c we have got two right angle triangles in triangle a d c it is ADC, A, D, C. In the right angle triangle, what is uh, sin R? In ADC, we have uh, the angle R. So, sin R is equal to, what is sin R? Sin R is equal to opposite side, that is AD. This is opposite side. For R, this is opposite side. Divided by adjacent side is AC. Adjacent side is AC. In triangle ABC, in triangle ABC, I is angle, so sin I is equal to opposite side BC by adjacent side AC. So I can write sin I in ABC. Uh, in ABC, I is angle, sin I is equal to what? What's the ratio? BC by AC. Okay. Now, from this we will take AD. From this equation, from triangle ADC, we will take AD. What is AD? AD is equal to AC sin R. From this equation, what is A, uh, BC? BC is equal to AC sin I. But we know that BC is equal to AD. So these two should be equal. So we can equate the right side of equation 3 and 4. When you equate the right sides, AC sin R is equal to AC sin I. Okay, the AC cancels. So what we have got sin I is equal to sin R. And what is I? Angle I is equal to angle R means angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection this is the law of a reflection of light this we have proved with the help of Huygens principle okay so first we have to understand the construction that is we have to incident light rays and if this is the incident wave front the incident wave front proceeding forward okay the first point is a a is striking initially at the mirror surface but b has from b wavelets needs to travel this distance bc Within that time, wavelets from this point will start to reflect in this direction. So we can show that BC is equal to A. The same time should be taken. Wavelets from B to C and wavelets from A to D. Now uh, this will be the reflected wave front. Reflected and proceed in this manner after reflection. How we have drawn the reflected wave front? Taking the length of BC, this length. BC should be equal to what? V into T. So we have taken a length of VT, V into T, speed into time. That is equal to BZ. With that length, we have drawn a sphere here. Okay. The, then the envelope of the sphere, you can see. Then we have drawn a tangent from the point C to the sphere. This will be the reflected wave front. That is C. Okay. So in this manner, we have got two right angle triangles. From these, we have taken sin A and sin R. 
AD is equal to AC sin R, BC is equal to AC sin I equated because AD is already is equal to AD is equal to BC. Now equating you will get I is equal to Okay. Now one, one interesting uh, important thing that you have to understand is during the reflection of light, there is no change in speed because same medium. The wavelength of the light, frequency of the light all will remain unchanged because medium is the same. So during reflection, there is no change for the frequency, the wavelength and the speed of light when we compare incident wave and a reflected wave. Okay, so thus we have proved uh, the law of reflection of light. Okay, thank you.